Hi kids, I'm Dave and this is your pennant racing channel. Why am I wearing these glasses? Not trying to look tricky, I'm just trying to not scare you. I'm apparently allergic to some glue that I'm playing with in here and it is really swelling my eyes up and making them look horrible. So I'm trying not to scare young children. This video is about the running of the bike with the relocation block on it where it's just running fuel to the injectors and it has the oil going into our direct injection hose. And I want you to watch the air fuel ratio on the dyno screen, because we're gonna run this bike at 25, 35, 45 miles an hour in fourth gear, and then the same thing in sixth gear. And you can watch those ratios and kind of get an idea of, you know, the ratio that it's burning at with just fuel at those various throttle positions and RPMs. Now there's not a ton of load on it, but when you're going down the road, uh, it's the exact same thing if you're just cruising down the road because the dyno's set up to, to mimic uh, the load or the resistance that would be on the road. So they're actually pretty true. Uh, and then we will take it off. We will go to just the oil injection delete where we will run premix in the thing at 60 to one, two ounces of oil for each gallon of gas in it and we will see how that runs. Now, spoiler alert, everything basically runs about the same. Sometimes you'll see flashes of 15 to one, 16 to one, little flashes and uh, you'll go, oh my God, oh my God, I saw it. It's, see, it's leaner, it's leaner with the oil in it. Ah, I can make it run an 11 to one too if I want. The things kind of hop around sometimes when they're hopping around, they're just instantaneous flukes. So don't get too caught up in that like you, uh, you know, sleuthed something there. And then we just go and ride on the street for a little bit, uh, get on it a tad, grab some brakes, see if we can make it, you know, um, die to a low idle. Sometimes people would say that with the both injectors in place, and normally it was with a different program and it was piling a bunch of oil in it, but if they're going really fast and they jammed on the brakes really hard, the RPMs would die off pretty uh, quick. They thought the bike was gonna die. It didn't, but it kind of seemed like it. So we'll do that a few times. When I'm riding this thing on the street, uh, you know, it's running pretty decent for a completely stock bike with uh, the injector relocation on it, the premix, it's got the reeds, it's got the 90 degree fuel fitting on it, it's got the bigger um, inline fuel filter there. <laughs> it's got a huge rear tire on it, a 130 by 80, big heavy meat on it with an ultra heavy duty tube, and the gearing is actually 1348 instead of 1350. So that's killing some of the spunkiness there. But it works pretty good on the road. I ride this thing on the road all the time. I'm not supposed to, it's not street legal. I don't have a motorcycle license, but I don't care. So let's watch this baby roll on the dyno. Look, ma, no glasses. My eyeballs are getting better. Thanks for noticing. So most of this is off. Now we're just switching over to our oil injection delete. The pump's off. There's an eight millimeter bolt that holds it in place. Uh, we've picked our oil 
uh, feed line off of this spigot here. We pull the assembly down. Of course, the oil is going to come out of the tank, so we put a bowl down here to catch that oil, and we kind of clean that thing up. Here's your delete dongle that's going to plug into where the pump went. That takes care of that. Uh, the low oil light, we just have to unplug that. Here's the plug for it. The secret to getting this plug undone is it doesn't want to come apart, so there's a red tang we pull back, but it still doesn't want to come apart. The secret is there's a little black tang inside here. When we lift that up, then it pops right apart. So that's fixed. Uh, there's a little white cap that comes with the kit. That goes on down here on the bottom of the oil tank to keep that stuff from spilling out. And then there is a little vacuum cap that comes with it. Originally that was designed to plug off the spigot on the top of the throttle body where the oil line went. Now it will plug off or we pull it off on our new throttle body. There you go, either way you win. Whether you wanna keep it with a direct oil injection or you wanna go premix, and again, that was 60 to one. But if you want more power past this kind of stuff, then within two weeks, March 15th, we'll have an ECU reflashing service. Um, the, the reflashes are designed by one of the smartest guys I've ever met in the country, and he really likes to work with the injector relocation blocks and some money back uh, guarantee on the work. If you don't like it, well, then we put it back to stock and we'll give you all your money back. So I don't think any other service can compete with the way that these things will, can really run when they're, when they're done. Not much of a change in fueling, but there's decent change in ignition timing and hold on if that's what you're looking for. Well, thanks a lot. Have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.